You're listening to Intellectual Nudity, uncensored, uninhibited, unleashed. The Jose Soto Show. Well, we had the Glad Awards this weekend, and it wasn't really much of anything, to be honest with you. And Bill Clinton, oh, B.J. Clinton, remember that guy? B.J. Clinton. <laughs> you mean Bill Jefferson Clinton. Yes, that's what I mean. <laughs> well, uh, he went to the GLAAD Awards. Oh, what did he do over there? Well, he went to the GLAAD Awards to receive this, I don't know. I don't know what award it was. What is it? Uh, Ally for Change or something. Some stupid meaningless award you know the glad awards are they even relevant today are they even uh, i mean what are they i mean these glad awards what do they do what do they celebrate oh diversity oh we shall celebrate diversity <laughs> really or is it inclusion? Like, what is it that GLAD is fighting for? Has anybody asked that question? I've asked it so many times. And, you know, I've been duped, like many of you, to believe that GLAD is working for us. No, they're not. They're working for Hollywood. Big Hollywood and, and of course, for the leadership themselves and their corporate sponsors. Who else? And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's what they do. Don't get all... You know, don't get all fuddy-duddy about it with me. Jose, why do you have to pick on GLAD? Because it's all over the place, okay? It's kind of funny that you are out there with your public award ceremonies. You want the whole world to know what you're doing. And then when I criticize it, you're like, <laughs> it's you. What are you criticizing? Because you're out there. You're in my face. Now, if you don't want to be criticized by me, then get the hell out of my face. Now, here's the thing about GLAD. Uh, GLAD, if you want to know what GLAD is about, go to Google and search this. GLAD, AT&T. Controversy. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't have to use a hmm. That's just me. Because... Glad has uh, very much a conflict of interest when AT and T tried to uh, merge with who was it with uh, T Mobile? I think it was. I don't. I don't really remember. But Glad was saying that gay people needed this and that they approve. Of course, they approve because AT and T is on the board of directors. <laughs> okay. Wow. Talk about corruption. So GLAD sent a letter to the FCC begging them to have AT&T merge or do, you know, buy this uh, cell phone service. And, of course, uh, AT&T was breaking all these, uh, you know, um, monopoly laws and uh, antitrust laws. And GLAD was basically speaking for, uh, for a monopoly man for Wall Street. Glad represents gay Wall Street. Goldman Sachs. That's who they are. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, <laughs> nothing wrong with gambling as long as you don't use my money. I don't know. But I'm not a huge fan of uh, Wall Street. I'm just being honest. And let's be honest, of course. Glad has nothing to do with you. Nothing to, nothing to do with me. And hopefully they'll never have to give me an award because I'll never accept it. I'll be honest with you on that. And so there has been some controversy surrounding these awards from this weekend. Why? Because Bill Clinton, BJ Clinton was there. He got an award and some people rightfully are a little bit ticked. This is the guy, the president, who signed DOMA into law. And the excuse was and is that if I didn't sign DOMA, 
okay? Uh, I think one of them, well, the real excuse was if he didn't sign Doma, uh, he was already in trouble by then. He would have been impeached. And that was the real reason. People don't want to talk about that. And so, but um, he had to sign Doma to please certain Democrats and Republicans. And he had to do a lot of shit to remain in office. But his excuse was, whoa, look, <laughs> if I hadn't signed that, if I didn't sign that bill into law, the Republicans would have been able to add a constitutional amendment to the United States Constitution. And here's my question. If that was the case, Bill, would 1996 Bill Clinton support that constitutional amendment? Of course he would. <laughs> and besides, there was no talk of a constitutional amendment. That was until later, uh, before his administration. Uh, that was like in 1999, or sorry, I'm talking about now, now having the political will to do a constitutional amendment. By the way, you need two-thirds, right? Is that correct? Two-thirds vote in both houses, in both chambers of the Congress to be able to pass a constitutional amendment. And you need three-fourths of the states? Eh, could have passed. Eh, maybe not. Who knows? So, um, you know, now Bill Clinton goes on stage and he says, I did not sign that Defense of Marriage Act. I never told anybody to sign for me. <laughs> what did Bill Clinton say today? Or at the awards? What did he say? Oh. Oh, it was my daughter Chelsea. My daughter Chelsea, she uh, uh, gave me a blow. I mean, I'm uh, sorry, wrong. Uh, it's a Freudian slip there. <laughs> my daughter Chelsea. Uh, she told me about her gay friends, uh, and where am I now? The glad words. All right, give me my money. Did he get money? Uh, is that what they give you if you win an award from glad? I don't know what they do. Oh, they give you a trophy, right? It's a weird looking trophy. It looks like a, I don't know. Looks fucking weird. So glad it was um, in the news because of this, and people were criticizing Glad. You know, it's meaningless now. <clears throat> and uh, there's another bit of controversy around this award ceremony. We have what's his name? Brett Ellis. Is that his name? Let me look it up here. Uh, he's a gay guy who's, I think, a critic or a writer or something like that. Oh, he's an author. Okay. Uh, yeah, Brett Easton Ellis. Uh, he's an author and a writer, and he has basically said, was it Matt Bomber? Yeah, I think it was. He said that Matt Bomber, Matt Bo oh, I forgot how to pronounce his last name, but Matt Bomber, uh, you know, gay actor in Hollywood, uh, he he was sort of, his name was kicked around as a possibility to play the role in the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, okay, as the, the lead role. And it would have been the first time in the Hollywood history that that would have happened. But Mr. Ellis gave us a shock treatment in reality and said, no, he can't be doing that. You cannot have a gay actor play this role. And Glad went berserk. Glad went bonkers. And let me tell you why they went bonkers. They went bonkers not because they thought that this was an anti-gay uh, screed or that Ellis was being stupid. They were exposed. Glad is so much in bed with all of these big Hollywood studios and producers. They cannot stand it when somebody says, hey, 
How come we never had a gay man, a gay actor play all these uh, big blockbuster main roles, you know, to be the lead man? They go bonkers when you say that. Because that's the one thing they can never do and they can't do because they're in the pockets of the producers. They can't do that. And Ellis, basically, he was telling us the truth, what Hollywood is. It seems kind of, well, that's pretty anti-gay what he said. Well, yeah, because that's what Hollywood is. It's not anti-gay, but it's pro-profit. How about that? Let me just lay it out for you. Bottom line, they're looking out for the bottom line. They know, or I think they have this weird assumption that uh, if we have a gay actor like Matt Bomber playing a lead role, a lead man, in a blockbuster movie, that it's not going to sell. I wonder why they have that perception. Hmm, I don't know. Because they're afraid of losing money. They are afraid of taking a risk, that they consider a risk, to allow a gay actor play a lead role. But hey, you can have all these straight guys play lead gay roles right Heath Ledger you know he played gay right of course in uh what was that movie Brokeback Mountain <laughs> that's Rick Perry's favorite movie by the way <laughs> I know that for a fact what else who else played uh straight uh Leonardo DiCaprio he played a gay role a very gay role by the way and, uh, gosh, almost every big name movie star played a gay role. Wow. And they say the last bastion of homophobia is where? In the church or in the Boy Scouts or, you know, some... No, the last bastion of homophobia is in Hollywood, to be honest. The big screen. And so, Glad went berserk. So what they did was, I think, uh, Brett was supposed to come to the awards. Or he was invited by somebody that was going to the awards. And they said, no, don't bring him here. He's banned. So they banned him from the Glad Awards. Just because he said the truth of the reality of Hollywood. And that Glad has failed to do anything about it. Because once they do that... Uh, if they start attacking their own produ their own people <laughs> in Hollywood, uh, some people are going to lose their jobs at GLAD. Let me just say that. I know for a fact that's what's going on. And GLAD is basically a pawn. It's basically a front group, a pawn for all of these, uh, you know, big networks and big studios. You know, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, look at the Brett Ratner situation. You know, that movie producer that was supposed to do the Oscars uh, two years ago. And uh, he failed. I don't know what happened. There was a lot of rumors being kicked around. I don't know what really happened. But the producers or the bigwigs in Hollywood... They did not want Mr. Ratner to be the producer of the Oscars. So, lo and behold, they found this tape of Ratner saying that, saying that rehearsals are for fags. That's what he said. And so they took this and said, ha, you said an anti-gay slur, you're fired. That's what happened. Because they were, they were waiting to fire this guy. I know that for a fact. They were, were waiting out in the wings to ensure that this guy was fired. And they used Glad as a pawn to do that, as an excuse. And Glad was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He shouldn't say that. Yet, they gave an award to, to, Dan Sa to Weenie Savage. That little prick. They gave an award to him. And he called gay people faggots all the time. 
Oh, but he gets an, he gets a Glad Award. Not only is he invited to the Glad Awards, he gets an award. Oh, and then we give rappers awards too. You know, they like to say the word faggot all the time. We give one to Russell Simmons, the inventor of the homophobic, anti-gay music, uh, hip-hop and rap and all that bullshit. Oh, yeah, we gave these guys an award. Oh, but Mr. Ellis, because he voiced the truth of what Hollywood is, he exposed something we didn't like. Oh, oh, no, no, we can't have that here. <laughs> and then they tried to ban the New York Post when they had the awards in New York City. Right? So people are now questioning the relevancy of GLAD. And finally, we have uh, started to do that. Because GLAD, do you think GLAD is relevant anymore? I don't think so. They give awards to Joe, my God, Joe Jervis. Oh, please. Oh, oh okay. And to Winnie Savage, to Signorelli, all these, the same people. I mean, they give awards to each other. I mean, that's what they do. Please. <laughs> I'm not really flattered by that. And do they represent gay people? No, they represent themselves. And so some people were angry about Bill Clinton. Yes, I understand that. But it's beyond Bill Clinton. It, this is about GLAD now. This is about what they're doing. They're trying to claw into some sort of relevancy. And they don't know what to do. And besides, they're, they're not out there trying to stop... Uh, you know, people from saying anti-gay things. Because I reported to GLAD several times actors saying stupid shit about gay people. How disgusting it is to kiss gay people. And, you know, all this shit. I reported it to GLAD. And because the actors were friends of somebody and they were protected, basically. They ignored my reports. I have other friends as well who report to GLAD and say, oh, you know, I, I, I heard so-and-so say this and that. And they just don't follow up. They just ignore the reports. You know, you go to GLAD and they have this little section where you can report on people, you know. <laughs> like the fucking SS. I'm going to report on you. Uh, I don't do that. I, I, when I was 25 years old, I, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do this anymore. GLAD just ignores me. And it ignores everybody. Uh, but then, you know, then GLAD goes into what, what do they do now? Now they're talking about transgender issues. You know, I thought they always did that. Didn't they do that all the time? I mean, that's why they went after, what, Jose Luis Censura? Because he was being mean to transgenders or something like that. So, now they're saying, oh, now we are going to do transgender issues. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought you guys already did that. So you weren't doing it? Is that so I mean I mean they're trying to 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 claim some sort of identity, some sort of uh, some sort of relevancy. And they have no relevancy. Now they're saying they're gonna change the name. Glad? It's gonna, to what? To uh, G L A A D Oh, they added an extra D, really? What the hell is that what does that extra D stand for now? I don't know. Who cares? And, you know, Glad went after uh, the rapper, what's her, what's her name? A bisexual rapper because she called, pa oh yeah, because she called Paris Hilton a faggot. <laughs> you know, I got called a faggot so many times. When has Glad come to my defense? Never, because <laughs> I'm not Paris Hilton. That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. You want to protect Paris, please. He's one of our uh, national gay treasures. Protect the, protect his poor innocent ass. But don't try to claim to relevancy by saying, "Oh, now we're gonna do transgenders. Oh, we're gonna ban uh, Ellis. We're gonna ban the New York Post. We're gonna come on. What is this shit? Banning people. How about if I ban you? How about that?" Jose Soto has banned Glad from the Jose Soto show. How about that? You like that, Glad? Ah, they don't care right now. And that's fine. Maybe one day they'll care. They'll be shit. 
Yeah, because you're stupid. In fact, I'm going to start my own GLAD organization. How about that? Gay Lesbians Against Dummies. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? But again, I think that, uh, you know, a lot of people are complaining about this. And yes, it, it's a relevant complaint. That's what I think. That's what I believe in. But uh, GLAD is not going to be any more relevant. Any, I, I don't think so. It's going to die down. Now, if you go to a gay bar and you say, hey, do you know what GLAD is? And they'll be like, huh? Glad? Are you glad? I'm glad. I'm happy. <laughs> a lot of gay people don't even know anymore what glad is. Maybe back in the 80s they knew. Yeah, everybody knew because everybody was active. I mean, glad was an okay organization back then. But now, fucking A, man. Banning people, banning Fox News. Who cares? You're supposed to have an event. Just focus on that. Why are you focusing on banning people? Why don't you ban Hitler? <laughs> like if he's going to show up. Yeah. It's kind of funny that you invite the president. You give an award. Not only did you invite him. But you give him an award to the president. Who signed the most anti-gay law in American history. Ah. Uh, and you're gonna say, wait, uh, not only well, that was the most anti, and then don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> not one, but two laws. Now that's kind of funny. That's hilarious, man. Hey, Alice, maybe what you should do is say, uh, hey, I'm sorry, glad uh, I renounce. Hey, glad uh, I renounce. I no longer believe uh, that uh, Matt Bomber is incapable of being. And a good actor. I'm sorry that I exposed Hollywood for its anti homo, for its anti gay uh, casting procedures. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Give me an award. Does Ellis want an award? Hey, Ellis, look at me. I wasn't invited to the fucking Glad Awards. Heck, maybe I'm already banned. <laughs> and that's a good thing. That's not, actually, that's, that's very good. Who cares? Who really fucking cares? Who watches Glad anyway? Who watches the Glad Awards? It's not, it's not the fucking Oscars. They think they are, you know? They, oh, 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 yeah, we have a red carpet. Oh, fuck. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck it. What is this crap? It sounds kind of Boy Scout-ish. With all this pretending and dress-ups and, you know, facades. What the hell's the matter with these people? Fucking lunatics. And then we have a red carpet. So what? I have one in my garage too. Fuck it. <laughs> in fact, the red carpet's homophobic. It has a homophobic history. But I'm just gonna say... Red carpet means blood, by the way. The right of kings. And many of those kings killed gay people in England. Uh, research. Research why we have red carpets. Ha has anybody ever tried to figure out why we have red carpets? Like during the Oscars, the Glad Awards, and all that. Okay. Yeah, figure it out. You'll find out why. You'll find out why kings walk on red kings and queens walk on red carpets red means their blood lineage and their right to reign that's what it means and their right to kill gays that's what they did in the past i'll just say that mm -hmm. and uh but it's kind of fruity in a way eh, it's glad what do they care right it's all about the fancy smancy that's fine i have look if you want to you know do that that's fine go ahead you know, but don't don't go out there looking like a fucking ass, banning people and you know making these shady backroom deals with AT and T. Oh, and come on, please get a fucking grip.